Hi, it's Darren Epic. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, please like the video. And I'd love it if you left a comment. I do a new video every week, Saturday at 2 p.m. Um, today, we're gonna go into my favorites of West Hollywood. Um, this is based on feedback from a subscriber named Kim. Um, she asked what the best areas are to be in West Hollywood. So I decided to do favorites, my favorites, which is my favorite area. I'm gonna do my favorite street, uh, favorite condo building, uh, and favorite um, homes. And uh, that should cover quite a bit. And I thought this would be great to wrap up because West Hollywood is my area of focus for real estate. And I thought it'd be fun for people to understand what is out there. I lived in West Hollywood for seven of my 11 years in Los Angeles, and I still pretty much entertain or enjoy myself. The majority of my time is in West Hollywood. Uh, our offices for Sotheby's in West Hollywood. Um, and also for you, for those of you that don't know, and haven't watched my videos before, I am a luxury realtor at Sotheby's on Sunset, part of one of the best teams in Los Angeles, Corey Nelson Partners, and we do a lot of business and we're here to help you guys. As stated before, uh, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite streets, homes, condos, areas of West Hollywood. Uh, we'll even share with you some of the celebrities that have lived there before or still do. And uh, this is all based on my 7 of 11 years living in Los Angeles. The majority of my time was spent in West Hollywood. Also because I work primarily in West Hollywood for real estate, that this is pretty good information. Uh, obviously, this is subjective. I'm not saying I'm the oracle. But if you comment below, I'd love to hear what you think. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video as well. I'd love feedback. West Hollywood. So West Hollywood, a little bit about it. It is was founded in 1984. Um, it is 1.9 square miles. Uh, there's seven different neighborhoods. I actually lived in uh, an area that's called Center City, which was east of uh, Crescent Heights, south of Santa Monica on Romaine and Laurel. Um, like I said, there's seven different neighborhoods in West Hollywood. Um, considered the creative city, uh, population over 36,000. Um, the average income is about 61,000. Uh, when you talk about population, a little over a third is LGBTQ community. Uh, it's a very ethnically diverse community, a lot of say. Um, just great for nightlife, restaurants, fun. It's got a great energy and vibe. Um, and uh, that just gives you kind of an idea, a snapshot of West Hollywood. Um, I would love to hear if you have any fun facts or interesting stories or bits of history about West Hollywood that is not shared in this video, just in general, because I've always loved to learn more. Um, please comment below and tell me if there's something that I didn't include that should have been included. Now I'm gonna share with you, I mean, there's it's celebrities in West Hollywood that live here or have lived here, I mean, the list can go on and on and on. I mean, Jim Morrison, you know, I think died in West Hollywood and lived there at one of his most famous residences, like right off of like just north of Santa Monica in Center City. But there's a lot of celebrities that either live here or when they come and work for, you know, a few months on a film, they live in West Hollywood. It's a favorite place because it's a very walkable city. Um, you know, you got, over the years, you've had Johnny Depp, uh, Katy Perry, um, Mila Kunis, uh, Kylie Minogue, Frank Sinatra, Marilyn Monroe, um, Chris Brown, Kelly Osbourne, um, Catherine Hepburn. I mean, my personal favorite is Marilyn Monroe just because she's iconic. And I do love Frank Sinatra as well. I actually grown to love him. Um, love his music now. It just puts me in a good mood. But I'd also love to hear what your favorite celebrity is. And if anyone shocked you on this list, because I was kind of surprised on a few people that they actually lived in West Hollywood. Um, but uh, yeah, there's there's plenty more. West Hollywood's a very desirable place for celebrities. A lot of flash, a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, very creative city, and a lot of people just like this part of town. A lot, lot more liberal than I think more other parts of Los Angeles. Favorite areas to live in West Hollywood. Um, just to give a little backdrop, going back into it, for seven years I lived in a place in the area called Center City, which was east of Crescent Heights, south of Santa Monica, off Romaine and Laurel. 
Uh, I loved it because I like that side of town because there was a lot of cool hip bars when I first moved there, a lot of good nightlife, restaurants. Um, and then it started to explode around 2013, 2014 with even cooler places like Laurel Hardware, Isabel. So I always liked that area. Um, I don't necessarily say or think it's the best area to live in West Hollywood. Also, I'd like to share the fun fact. Uh, I want to see if you can guess who it is. Um, comedian, writer, uh, actor, if you will, that is from Canada, uh, lived across the street from me from my building uh, down south of Santa Monica literally across the street, used to hear him and watch him walk his dogs almost every morning. And if you knew his laugh, uh, big uh, weed smoker, um, iconic laugh, late 2000s, early 2010s till now, pretty big star. I'd love to see if you can guess who it is. I'm not going to say his name, but uh, I'd like to see if you can guess it. Going back into the area. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Uh, first, I'll talk about probably my favorite is WeHo West. Um, just feels more uh, residential. It is um, north of Beverly, west of La Cienega, east of Doheny, and south of Melrose. Uh, it is a great, pretty great carve out of West Hollywood. Uh, it's close to a little bit of everything. It's very residential. The homes are beautiful, architectural, uh, contemporary. Uh, interesting lots. Um, it's great for walking everywhere. I mean, you have access to almost everything in West Hollywood right there. I mean, in terms of restaurants, you have Craig's, Pedrosian, Granville, the nice guy for fun and for, for eating. Soulmate, which is a new amazing place. Uh, Bristol Farms, a great grocery store. Uh, you have Chaconis, which is one of my favorites. You have the Henry, which is off Doheny. Um, shops, you have the Real Real. Beverly Center and Beverly Connection are just on the edge of West Hollywood West. Um, I go to Beverly Connection all the time for Nordstrom Rack. Um, I love this location. It is pretty much central to everything like adjacent in Beverly Hills, Hollywood Hills, Sunset Strip, uh, 3rd Street, The Grove. It's just a great area to live in. If you can afford to do so, this would probably be the best place to live in West Hollywood. Not to mention, you have Cedar Sinai, which is just on like, south on Beverly, off of uh, San Vicente and Doheny. I mean, it's all there. I mean, Cedar Sinai is huge, and it's one of the best hospitals in the state of California, um, especially one of the best in Los Angeles. And it's there. I mean, it's smack dab in the middle of West Hollywood West. Another interesting keynote is right now West Hollywood's Park. Uh, is under a massive renovation, $160 million renovation. So now in West Hollywood West, uh, and you know, just north of West Hollywood West, if you will, you have a, like a renovated, beautiful park that is gonna be launched uh, and you know, reopened. It's, it's open right now, but they're gonna be finished with everything spring of 2022. Uh, you know, it's about $160 million plus renovation. It's a lot of money, a lot of scratch. Um, that's going to allow that area to be even more attractive. It's right by the West Hollywood Library, the Pacific Design Center. Uh, it's just a really great place, um, you know, and to offer people. Now I'm going to talk about some, you know, kind of like rentals, homes, condos. Some like kind of give you an idea of what it may cost to live in West Hollywood West. Uh, currently, there's a few uh, active leases out there for $8,500 to $10,500 a month. Um, over the last three months, there's been a wide range of condos to homes from $3,800 to $30,000 a month. Uh, West Hollywood West is primarily homes, so that's why that number's higher. Um, right now, there's currently three active listings in West Hollywood West. Uh, on average, about $3.429 million which comes about almost $1,200 a square foot. Uh, and right now there's a condo for sale, 1.275 million. So you see there's like no condos. It's mostly homes. Um, recently sold in the last three months, 10 homes. They averaged almost you know 2.96 million, about $1,358 a square foot. So this gives you kind of an idea of what things rent and sell for in, in West Hollywood West. Now favorite streets in West Hollywood. Uh, this is kind of a tricky one. This is very, you know, you might ask around and get the same answer sometimes, but it's kind of tough because there's a lot of really good, great streets in West Hollywood. Um, personally, my favorite is Orlando. 
Um, it's because there's beautiful homes there and it's right smack dab in the middle, uh, just east of La Cienega, just south of Santa Monica. And there's a lot of great homes there. Um, one of my favorite homes that is recently under contract, will be featured down here in the video later, uh, is on Orlando. And Orlando's a great street, tree-lined, uh, just great homes in that street. Um, but yet you're still smack dab in the middle of West Hollywood, which is you know, very attractive for a lot of people because that's a very walkable area of West Hollywood. Um, another one is Croft. Uh, when you get closer to Melrose Place, uh, Croft is east of La Cienega, south of Willoughby. I'm talking about when you get closer to Melrose Place, you see like Alfred's there, but you have all these new condo developments that are super cool. Croft is a very cool uh, little street, especially when you get close to Melrose Place. Some people might say Melrose Place is one of their favorite streets, but it's more, it's more commercial, it's not residential. And then you have Dorrington. Dorrington, we have, uh, currently we have an active listing there, and one of my favorite homes in the last three months that's sold is also on Dorrington as well. Dorrington's a very cool residential street smack dab in the middle of West Hollywood West. Uh, a lot of architectural homes, very cool homes, great design, uh, great pocket, great street in West Hollywood. So those are my three streets that I'm naming as my favorite streets in West Hollywood. Love to hear what you think and what your favorite street is because I'm not saying I'm right, I'm just telling you what I think. So now we're gonna talk about my favorite condo buildings or what they're trying to call them now is residences. Uh, gonna keep it real simple. Uh, the Pendry and West Hollywood Edition to me are the most sexiest uh, condo buildings, penthouses in all of West Hollywood, probably even in all of Los Angeles. Um, they're just gorgeous. Uh, they're brand new. They're recently, like I think launched in the last year or two. Uh, brought a lot of great appeal back to the Sunset Strip. Uh, the Pendry is just like luxury, luxury, luxury. Um, I call it like a, almost like an ego play because if you have that kind of money and you can justify it, why not? I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It's incredible. It's a full service building. You're basically paying to stay at a resort, but a high rise with your own amenities and full service and elevator access. And you know, it's just, it's incredible. Um, the same with the, the West Hollywood edition. Um, it's just on a different level. Um, and I think one, one of the or one of each uh are going to be listed below uh in the future here in my video of my favorite condo penthouses in all of la and in west hollywood for that matter um also some other you know worth mentioning the harlan is great for rental uh it's a new building uh kind of i think it's four or five stories off of doheny uh, then you also have sierra towers which is just off doheny as well but north of sunset um, it's a total high rise. It's just north of Soho House and our office north of Sunset Strip on the Beverly Hills adjacent, if you will. Um, then you also have, to me, the Park Wellington is worth mentioning because it's a, you know, it's a doorman building in West Hollywood on Alta Loma. It's reasonably priced, reasonable HOAs, and it's a luxury building and it's, it's older, but it offers you everything you need. And it's always got something for sale and people are always like wanting to stay there as renters. So those are great places to mention as well. Now onto my favorite condos and penthouses in West Hollywood. Um, and actually I think all three are, two are penthouses and one's a townhome. But uh, you get the idea. Uh, first one is the, it's a penthouse that was sold at the Pendry Residences in July. Uh, it was sold for 13.3 million. Uh, it was a little over 3,000 square feet. The kicker is that it had a pool and a hot tub, private patio that was over 3,100 square feet. So that's why it was so desirable. I mean, it's still 13.3 million, but the views and everything, it's insane. Um, it was, you can see all of LA, downtown across to the water uh, in the Pacific Ocean. Um, there's only a handful of these residences left in the building. So, and I think this was the creme de la creme, if you will. Um, and, you know, you'll see below who it's listed by. They're from Pendry Residences, uh, Michelle and Jason. But yeah, Pendry is exceptional. And this one is probably what I think the highest price per square foot sale ever in the city of West Hollywood. Um, so pretty exceptional. Moving on to number two, it's the West Hollywood Edition. And it was a residence on the 12th floor, number 1203. 
it sold for 14.85 million. A um, little over 3,800 square feet. Uh, there's only two more units left in the building, but to give you an idea, I mean, the West Hollywood Edition, same thing as the Pendry, just a different name, same thing, beautiful status, luxury to the nine, views everywhere. Uh, you really can't go wrong with it. Um, and my guess is the finishes might be a little even nicer at the West Hollywood Edition, considering the price tag, but also the square footage was bigger. Um, but it's truly a penthouse. Um, that was listed by Steven and Max Shapiro, just so you know, from the West Side State Agency. And then number three, which I think is the most charming of all of them, um, it's 1471 Havenhurst, number seven. It's listed by Alan Roth from Sotheby's. And it's at the Andalusia, which is an iconic uh, Zwiebel residence. Uh, these are architects that did this back, back in the day. And it's an eight unit building. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, this one feels like a Tuscan getaway, townhome, or Spanish villa, if you will. Um, it's just beautiful. And so, and you'll see some pictures here below. And uh, these are my three favorite. Uh, if you're looking at uh, style and aesthetic, for me personally, I like the uh, 1471 Havenhurst, number seven. I think it's just classic and beautiful and old and just just timeless. Uh, but the, the, the Pendry and the West Hollywood Edition are pretty exceptional as well. They're just on a whole nother level. They're just two different things. Now on to favorite homes in West Hollywood. Um, the first one I'm gonna mention, um, I have the great opportunity to see it on a broker's open, um, 535 Westmount. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know if they're gonna get the price point they're actually offering, but I can tell you this, the street is exceptional. Um, the, the vibe, the energy, the uniqueness, it feels like a Tuscan villa. Uh, I called it like a petite hermitage or it felt like a villa at Chateau Marmont, but with just a lot of green. I mean, this place is beautiful. I mean, the square footage is small. Yes, I know. I mean, I don't even think they listed it, but it has a house that feels like a getaway in Tuscany and then has a guest house. Then everything feels so private. It's gated, private driveway. Uh, gated doors to go into the courtyard. It's very green and hedged. Uh, everything is just so private and cottagey and Tuscan villa-y. And the backyard is exceptional. Uh, you have your own pool and spa. They have the guest house, obviously, like I mentioned before. It's just, it's just a very unique, special place. It's listed by Brandon and Rainey Williams at the Beverly Hills um, Estates. Um, but yeah, that place just, I always think about it ever since I saw it, whoever's going to get it, it's going to be happy as hell. It's an exceptional place. Uh, the second one on the list is 8929 Rangeley Avenue, which is in West Hollywood West. Um, it's listed at 3.895 by Steve Frankel at Coal Banker. Um, it's a three bedroom, five bath, a little over almost 2,400 square feet, has a pool and spa. This place, you enter it. I mean, it's just super cool once you enter it you can literally look to the right you see a martini bar a living room then you look to the left you see like a dining area that leads to the kitchen then you have two sliding glass doors accordion doors that open up to show you the pool and spa that are right there they're see-through obviously um and then it's just a, it's just so welcoming it's like entertainer's paradise um in west hollywood west um, and then next is actually my partner's listing, 8839 Dorrington uh, in West Hollywood West as well. Like I said before, this is one of the best streets in West Hollywood. Uh, it's a great residential street. Um, this home is like a Zen oasis, right smack dab in the middle of Dorrington. Um, it was built in 1999. It's a Frank Lloyd Wright inspired. Uh, all it needs is someone to come there and give it a little like, you know, refreshing. And it's got a loft style vibe, it's exceptional. Um, and it's listed for 3.495 million. It's a little over 2,700 square feet. And like I said, it's on Dorrington, it's exceptional. Um, and then also another one of my favorites is 1024 Orlando. Um, that one actually just went under contract a couple days ago. Um, it was 6.995 million. Um, it was listed by James Harris, 
David Parnes at the agency. Orlando is one of my favorite streets. I don't even know what to say about it. Um, except for if you look at a couple of these pictures below, you're going to see that it's exceptional. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It's beautiful. It's like, no wonder it went under contract. It took a little time, but it's $7 million. It's on one of the best streets in all of West Hollywood, if not maybe in Los Angeles. Um, it, it's a great home, great lot. And the pool and spa and that vibe back there with the waterfall fall is, is like a retreat. Like it's your own little retreat. Then you have another one on Dorrington that I loved as well, which they call it the 3D home. Uh, 9018 Dorrington Avenue. It sold for a little over 4.9 million. It was about 4,400 square feet. Had a pool, spa, a little bit of everything. Had amenities, it had an entertainment basement with a second kitchen. Um, you only see one photo, but I can tell you, I can assure you this, it's exceptional and it's modern, contemporary, all the things uh, on Dorrington, 9018 Dorrington when it sold for 4.9 million. In closing, West Hollywood is a special place to me. I've lived in West Hollywood. You know, I spent seven of 11 years in West Hollywood. It's where I moved to originally when I first moved to Los Angeles. Um, it's a part of me, just like Manhattan's a part of me. West Hollywood's a part of me. I'm there all the time. It's my favorite place to probably go out for drinks and dinner and get together with friends. Um, it's been my staple for a majority of my time in Los Angeles. Uh, it's my home away from home, if you will. Um, I think it's a great area to live, a great area to buy, a great area to rent, a great area to play, what have you. Um, these are my favorites that I've listed, my favorite streets, areas, condos, buildings, and homes. I'm not saying they're the best out there, but I'd love it if you like the video, if you have opinions on what your best areas, streets, condos, homes are, challenge me or list them below. I'd love to see what you say. Um, if you like the video you saw today, like I said, like the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and uh, have a great day. If you've never been to West Hollywood, you gotta visit. Thank you so much, have a wonderful day.